Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Lexus Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up? Happy Wednesday. Today's video, I am doing a video that I've actually been asked to do for quite a long time. I don't really get requested videos, but this specific topic has been something that I get comments about all the time, which is how do I style oversized t-shirts? How do I tuck in oversized t-shirts, sweatshirts, sweaters, basically everything revolving around oversized clothing and how I'm able to make it look cute, I guess, which personally, Personally, I'm definitely a lover of oversized clothing and the fact that I'd rather it be too big than too small. If you thrift, I'm sure you've come across items that don't necessarily fit you. And I kind of want to share with you guys my ways on how I style oversized clothing. That way, when you do go thrifting, you have every possibility out there because you know how to make it work. Yeah. Now, before we even get into the different outfits and clothing items, probably the most important thing that you need when it comes to oversized clothing, whether that be oversized tops or bottoms is a good belt. Before thrifting, honestly, I never really wore a belt. Usually I wore super skinny jeans, so I didn't necessarily need a belt, but now that I'm way more into mom jeans and again, thrifting, you're never really gonna find the perfect pair of jeans that fit. Finding belts that actually fit my waist because specifically I personally like high-waisted jeans has been really important. I always found that new belts just never fit my waist right. They were specifically for your hips. So thrifting specifically belts has been really awesome. The belt I'm wearing right now is thrifted. This one has a cool like design on it as well. Then when it comes to the clothing items that are oversized, having a belt even with some sort of design or some sort of like popping out feature will kind of break your body, if that makes sense. Break it into pieces of like top and bottom versus like just an up and down. And this one is definitely like a high-waisted waist belt this one will just like really make it nice and tight sometimes with this belt I'll go for my jeans that are just slightly oversized whereas I have this belt which is just a black and gold belt yes it's plain but then you have the gold detail so when it's like that like you can already see just like a definition even though I'm wearing a black belt with light wash jeans and there already is one and this belt is not super tight so where it actually kind of ends, it still gives enough room. So if I do have very oversized jeans, yes, it'll stay on my waist, but then it's not like spilling over with fabric. So definitely depends on the type of jeans, how loose they actually are. Having especially a thicker belt will kind of hide that bulge a little bit. So that's another reason personally, I like to wear a belt even if the jeans do fit me. Let's now get into the actual oversized clothing items and show you guys how I style them. We first are gonna talk about some oversized shirts. This shirt I'm sure you have seen in my other videos. It's my favorite Harley shirt. I got a cool like back thing and I love it so much. I very rarely wear it kind of just how it is right now. Almost like 95% of the time I tuck it in and because this one is quite long there is a lot of fabric. I am wearing these Bill Blast jeans which as you can see it has a good amount of kind of space for me to tuck in this shirt. Obviously like I said you need a really good belt which I have right here and I'm going to show you guys Basically how I tuck in my shirt, I am first going to kind of pull it all the way up to the front. I kind of move it to the side and I'm going to undo my pants. Gentlemen, keep going. Don't watch me unzip my pants. Oh, he just littered. So I got them unbuttoned and I'm just going to start from the front and literally just push all the fabric to the bottom as much as I possibly can. Where this shirt actually hits is like right here. I mean, it's pretty intense. And the biggest thing we don't want is for it to bunch up because it's not fun. And so it's kind of at a point where it's smooth enough. Oh, there's kind of a chunky piece in the back. We are going to pull up the jeans, button them, take our handy dandy belt, do it all the way. We're gonna pull up our jeans intensely to get the jean fabric over the belt because that's my favorite thing is when you have, you know, that excess fabric on top of the belt and I kind of pull that up. And to an extent, I mean, the shirt's tucked in, we're basically good to go, but what I'm gonna do because I like it to kind of spill over a tad, I'm gonna kind of pull a little bit out. And just like that, that's basically how I tuck in all of my jeans. As you can see, there isn't too much of any type of bulge just because I really smoothed it out before I even buttoned up the jeans. With this, because the sleeves are quite oversized as well, I always like to 
fold. Voila, just like this. And I specifically put it with these lighter wash jeans on purpose as well because when it comes to a very oversized t-shirt, putting it with the same color as your bottoms, that's when it just like loses your shape. Kind of the same thing, we got a very oversized shirt with some of these jeans. So same thing, we are going to unbutton and then just go for it. And then we got it right there. And before messing with any of the fabric, I'm gonna take one of my belts where they go. This studded belt, just because I think it would look cool with it. The only thing with these jeans is when I thrift flip them, like I didn't sew the back belt loop, which is an issue. And then same thing, we're gonna pull this up. All right, and then we just start pulling. Now, when it comes to the graphic, I'm not too fussed about it, honestly. Like, I don't really care that much. But with this specific one, what I decided to do is actually take it from where the graphic kind of ends and then pull up that way. That way the full graphic is out and about. With this t-shirt, there isn't like, I mean, it's wow, it is quite long, but it's not as like wide. Nothing to see here, just my hands and my pants. It definitely still kind of bunches up a tad. To kind of like help with this, there are a couple other things that you can do. If you are wearing a bra, you can actually like tuck the bottom of the shirt into the bra that way it just naturally creates its own cropped shirt or if you want to show a little bit of skin you can actually take just a hair tie and kind of wrap it around the front of the shirt and then fold that in that way it almost creates like a triangle from the bottom of your pants to the actual top i just usually stick with tucking in my shirts so I have these green jeans, which have a pretty good amount of space to tuck in my sweater. They also are a darker color, so even better if there is still bulging, which is another thing. If you have an item that is just very like thick, you wanna go for a little bit more of darker denim. Now again, I'm not saying using the bathroom and trying to retuck everything that's easy. It definitely is not. It's a workout in the bathroom. <laughs> the jeans even fit me better with the oversized sweater. And they are two different colors, so it naturally makes it so your body isn't just like lost in the sauce. I then have this gold belt to kind of really bring it in at the waist. Especially with the sweater because it is quite just, you know, hanging all over. We're doing the same thing that we did with the others. And then we're just gonna pull the sweater out. And the nice part is you can really see that gold as well, even though the sweater is kind of like water falling over it. Some accessories in there. Now, sweatshirts. So as much as I honestly wear just a sweatshirt out and about as normal, which in my defense, if you're wearing an oversized sweatshirt and a little bit more of skinnier mom jeans, I think that also is a look and how I style oversized sweatshirts in particular because I think it still looks flattering if you just have it out and about and especially if you pair it with a lighter wash of denim then you're still giving yourself some shape but if you're wanting to tuck in a sweatshirt like this i have on these wrangler jeans which really don't have too much give so this is going to create a lot of bulging it's like its own workout now i'm gonna try to figure out how to button this all right. I don't know if you guys can necessarily see, but like there's just so much fabric just all around and doesn't look that great. Another thing you can do that isn't revolutionary whatsoever and just reminds me of high school days of just putting a flannel around your waist. Before I do that, I am gonna put a belt on this, even though I don't need it for the shape. Having it kind of pop out with the flannel will just give it a little bit more than just a sweatshirt and jeans. And I'm just gonna take this flannel, and it's an oversized flannel, so that is just perfect. If it's too small, then I think it just looks kind of weird. I mean, you guys don't really need a tutorial on how to tie a flannel. And I'm kind of just putting it right above the belt so it still kind of pops out. Ta-da! Hiding all the bulge. Hiding the bulge up front as well. Even the parts that are just like right there, the sleeves are covering that right up. It's creating that nice little the only thing I do have to say, obviously, about tucking in your shirts or sweaters is going to the bathroom. It's just never going to be fun. A lot of times when I, like, use the bathroom when I'm out with, like, friends, uh, all I think about as I'm, like, re-tucking in my shirt is, like, oh gosh darn, they're going to think I'm pooping and I'm not pooping. Hopefully my tips made you feel a little bit more confident in styling oversized clothing, and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's 
too big. It could also just be too long for you. Personally, when it comes to like cropping shirts, number one, it can be a mess and you can ruin a really great t-shirt. But also sometimes I just really like the look of kind of the spillage of the top, if that makes sense. If you guys like thrifting videos, thrift all, thrift it with me's, make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video because all the items I did show you basically were thrifted. If you guys would like to stay up to date with me during the week, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter, Alex and Shine 83, and I will see you guys on Sunday with a brand new Sunday Sunday video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!